Hi everyone and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's weekly forecast. My name is Terence Gardino. The week begins on Monday the 24th of February. Yesterday on Sunday was the new moon in dreamy, idealistic, compassionate Pisces. And where Pisces falls in your chart, that's going to be one of the main focuses of the month. But remember, Mercury is retrograde until March the 10th. And with that retrograde, it's not the best energy to be moving into all new directions because Mercury, the planet of information and expectations, is now appearing an optical illusion to be going backwards. So it's best, it happens every, uh, like for three weeks, about three times a year, this is the time to stop and review where you've been with your choices, to revise and re-edit. And often with Mercury in retrograde, there could be misunderstandings, miscommunications, so you don't want to assume anything. And Mercury is, is retrograding in Pisces that's really going to be stimulated now with the new moon yesterday in Pisces. And this, the positive with the Pisces is awakening all this, this vision for a better future, um, but not yet time to act. However, um, Mercury is this rational energy, rational thinking, planning, thinking. However, being in Pisces and retrograde, Pisces is a bit dreamy. So Mercury retrograding in Pisces could be, we're more prone to uh, fuzzy thinking, confused thinking, uh, over-the-top idealistic thinking, but it's good for awakening the imagination. Now, um, on Monday, with this moon still in Pisces, it's going to be very favorable with expansive Jupiter, with powerful uh, Pluto and Saturn. So it's, it, it, we're starting the work week um, feeling solid, feeling optimistic. The sun is also very favorable with assertive, ambitious Mars. Um, so we're gonna hit the ground running on Monday. Um, we may be feeling really encouraged about our long range plans and goals but not yet time to act on anything new. But it's really favorable starting on Monday to clean up um, old business, um, get your ducks all lined up and start preparing for something bigger. Just don't act on it until Mercury goes direct. On Tuesday, the moon is moving into fiery, um, assertive dynamic Aries at 10.47 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you'll see a noticeable difference with the emotional tone in Pisces, which is more introspective, more compassionate. It's the sign of empathy, whereas the Aries is very concerned with the self. Uh, more being more individualistic, more courageous, more impulsive. So it's a very different energy. We're going to see this shift for the next couple of days, Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday. Now, on Tuesday, the Mercury is going to align with the Sun. That is a day of a lot of discussions and ideas thinking, planning, but Mercury's in retrograde. So uh, it's all about the um, cleaning up the past or bringing old projects off the shelf, dusting them off and getting ready um, to uh, launch it perhaps after Mercury goes direct. Also, Mercury will be in a very favorable aspect to assertive Mars. So the Mercury-Mars will keep us very busy, 
but as I said, with old projects. On Wednesday, there aren't any important planetary events, but the moon is, um, is just moving along, unfeathered by other planets, uh, continuing in that fiery airy. So we're still having a lot of energy to get a lot of old work done. On Thursday, now the moon, it, towards the end of Aries, is going to slam up against restricted Saturn and dark, con uh, manipulative Pluto. So it seems like we were, you could be rushing forwards Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, feeling all excited, feeling so hopeful. What Thursday just might be um, that you hit a wall or you get some pushback. Um, from, uh, from bosses, um, from friends, um, or you just start to realize that um, you need to um, uh, pull it back and, um, you know, and just so, and rest. Don't keep pushing so hard. Friday, now the moon has moved into Taurus. Taurus is more calming, more steady, um, more sensual, and the with that moon in Taurus, Venus is the ruler of Taurus, so Venus energy is very much more highlighted, and the Venus is going to be in a strong aspect with Pluto. Venus Pluto can trigger some passionate, intimate feelings, could also uh, really awaken any creative talents or desires or passions. But when it comes to relationships, um, this is if you are falling in love, becoming infatuated with somebody new, which is very possible on Friday, going out Friday night, remember Mercury's in retrograde, so expect the unexpected. Um, but an old love, especially with Mercury in retrograde, um, an old love can return, or you could be rekindling um, your current relationship to get um, to bring more romance back into the picture. Saturday, the moon continues in Taurus, and it's going to be very favorable with the Neptune Jupiter. I talked about how Neptune and Jupiter was in this very favorable um, sextile or in harmony last week and where the effects could last for a couple of weeks. It's a very idealistic, visionary time, awakening a lot of hopefulness and having the moon um, connecting the Jupiter and Neptune on Saturn or the, um, the Neptune and Jupiter the moon sets the public tone. So, so the general populace, that's the moon, is going to be feeling more hopeful, more inspired about their future. Sunday, now the moon is going to leave um, centered, calming Taurus and go into jittery, distracted, curious Gemini at 11.21 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And with the moon in Gemini, your mind could be going all over the place, being excited, being distracted. But just after the moon goes into Gemini, it's in a really difficult angle with rational Mercury, the ruler of Gemini, actually, and it's retrograde. So midday, Later in the day, depending on where you are in the world, um, on Sunday, you might start getting really confused, second guessing, building mountains out of molehills. Just calm the mind, meditate, take a walk in nature, go exercise. Just calm down the mind and you'll be fine. Before I sign off, I want to remind you I'm available for the one question offer for a nominal fee. The, um, and when you're signing up for it, the time of birth is always important. Now, um, you can find a direct, a direct link to order it in the description box below the video. 
I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you next week with my next segment. Until then, have a great week.